The Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BSF Canada and Invigor Hybrid Canola. Strauss here with realagriculture.com. I am back here today with another Canola School episode and I have here with me Sheldon Taves who's a technical service specialist with BASF. How are you doing today? I'm doing good Kara. How are you? I am doing great. So we're at the time of the year. I mean of course we're, we're going to be looking at rotations and sometimes people are making these last minute rotation changes. Do you want to talk a bit about the importance of keeping a wide rotation with canola? Well, yeah, with canola, uh, the rotation is extremely important, right? So I live at Red Deer. Uh, we've been dealing with club root for a number of years. So club root's like a really important reason why growers should stick to that rotation. We know uh, one in three rotation helps keep those club root spores low. There are other diseases like black leg that also come into role, uh, into play when we when we're talking about canola rotation. So it, it is extremely important to keep that, keep a good rotation and have other crops in there from a disease standpoint. Now, from a disease standpoint, how, how wide should these rotations be? I mean, I know we can't always, there's not, red deer, you don't have as many options with crops, but how wide should these rotations be? Well, a one in three year rotation uh, with the talking with the canola council and uh, we know from research that that one in three year rotation with canola is it's adequate to keep those spore levels low. Now do you want to talk about kind of the short-term gain versus the long-term gain when it comes to rotations you know we're we might be looking at markets right now we might be looking at the price right now but how, how does it impact you in the long term if you're not following rotations? Well you've worked hard with your rotation any grower has worked hard with their rotation and uh, so now if you take and you shorten that rotation and put canola in you might have spent money last fall on fertilizer putting putting a different fertilizer blend in so now you've got to maybe step in and go and adjust that blend to try to make sure you've got the right nutrients there for for that canola crop um, also from a herbicide standpoint, herbicide rotations are extremely important. Uh, resistance management, so if you're, uh, if you're rotating, shortening that rotation, now what's your go-to gonna be when it comes to those uh, herbicide rotations? Okay, awesome. And any other messages you have for producers when it comes to canola rotations? Um, just really, it, it is, uh, looking at the rotations, it's, that short term, uh, if you're if you're shortening up that canola rotation, uh, it it really be will be a short term gain there. So just sticking with what your plan was last fall, I think all commodities are at a good price right now. So I don't know that you're going to gain anything by by on a ROI standpoint by rotating away away from a certain crop to come into a different crop. Okay, thank you very much for your time.